Greetings, dear brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Once again to Him and Him alone be all the praise, honor, and glory. And today is the 29th day, right, David? Yes. 29th day of the year, 2017 of the fourth month, of course. And once again, today, David actually has a cover sheet for us. We are once again, dear brothers and sisters, we have once again gathered in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. And we'll read some scriptures and we will, David has a cover sheet, we will sing, thank you, Lord. We'll just praise him, we will just give him the glory and honor and power. Because at the end of the day, dear brothers and sisters, once again, I repeat that it's all about him, it's not about me, it's not about... You, it's not about any one of us. It's about all about him because he is the one who came down from heaven to earth. And he is the one who paid the price in full. Tetelestai, it is done. It is finished, dear brothers and sisters. This evening, if you're in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if you, if Jesus Christ of Nazareth is all in all in, in your life, if he is your savior, if he is your king, if he is your all in all, if you are picking up the cross, denying yourself every single day, and following him no matter what. The good news is. No enemy. No nothing. No Satan. Nothing has any dominion over you. Dear brothers and sisters. Before we today will read some scriptures. And we will worship our king. Our lord. Our savior. And we ask you dear brothers and sisters. Once again let's have a fellowship. Join, join us. Praise him. Feel. Because in his presence only you will feel the presence of joy. Where whatever valley you had been, whatever troubles, whatever things you had gone through, whatever, however your week has been, however your day has been, no matter what. Paul says that we are more than conquerors. We are more than victorious in Christ Jesus. So let's receive the victory once again by glorifying his holy name. Because the Bible says in Nehemiah 8.10 that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So let's rejoice in him and before we start let's start with the word of prayer shall we david yes all right heavenly father we come this day in your presence in the name above every single name of our king yeshua hamashiach can we pray lord as we are about to worship you as we are about to read the scriptures please open your words to our hearts and minds and our your words to our hearts and minds and our hearts and minds to your words and please Fill us with your Holy Spirit and lighten all our hearts and minds with your Holy Spirit. And please be our strength when we are weak. We claim on Psalms 141.3. And pray, Father, please do set a guard over our mouth and keep watch over the door of our lips as we read the scriptures, as we talk about you, as we worship you. Please, Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit and help us to worship you in truth and in spirit and give you all the glory, honor and power because your name is above every single name and in the name above every single name of our King Yeshua HaMashiach using our authority of Luke 10, 19, we bind every single evil of the enemy which is coming at this time and which is coming at our dear viewers and we pray for the hedge of protection for each one of us and we pray Heavenly Father, that you please add your super to this natural atmosphere, to our natural body, so that fill us with your Holy Spirit, so that your supernatural realms, your supernatural message, your supernatural atmosphere, we can absorb it, we can feel your presence, and we can glorify your holy name in truth and in spirit. All this we pray in the holy, mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, and amen, and amen. All right, so dear brothers and sisters, today we'll talk. The Lord has been leading us to talk about praise, about rejoicing in the Lord. The Bible has a lot to say about rejoice, dear brothers and sisters. We'll read a few, about seven scriptures about rejoicing. And we encourage you that if you have a Strong's Concordance or any concordance, or as a matter of fact, if you have a Bible app, on your cell phone, you can just do a study, you can do a search of the rejoice and take a look at what the rejoice word, what are the scriptures which is associated with us and we can assure you that you will come out victorious. Whenever you are in the valley, rejoice in the Lord. The Bible says in Psalms 118, 24, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, let us together this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice 
and be glad in it. The Bible says in Psalms 98, 4, shout joyfully to the Lord. All the earth break forth in song, rejoice and sing praises. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 9, verse 2, I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Paul says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, rejoice in the Lord always. And he repeats it again. I will say rejoice. In Psalms 33, 1, we see once again, rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. For praise from the upright is beautiful. Psalms 33, 21 says, for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy mighty name. And the seventh scripture which we are going to read. Brothers and sisters once again. Rejoicing. Rejoicing in the Lord. Cannot be emphasized enough. Because that's one thing the enemy doesn't like. And that's one thing where we have the power of the Lord. Where we come. And feel the presence of the Lord. And enemy is crushed when we rejoice in the Lord. And the seventh scripture Today, which we are going to talk, this is perhaps one of the most crucial scripture, which we all need to pay heed to. We all need to pay attention to as it, as it tells us the will of God for each one of us. Dear, dear brothers and sisters, today, if you're seeking for God's will for your life, we encourage you, we urge you, please do pay an extra attention to the scripture. Because it talks about God's will for our life. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 through 18. And we encourage you to please do take the scripture in your prayer. And ask the Lord to show you for the rest of the days or rest of the hours or rest of the time moments we are here. What the Lord has for you. And he is faithful. He is faithful to tell you. If you are seeking him with a faithful and true heart. Getting back to the scripture, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18, it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks. Dear brothers and sisters, rejoice not when you are happy, not when God blesses you with a new car or a new thing, but rejoice always, no matter whenever you are on the mountain or valley. Whenever, wherever we are, we are commanded to rejoice always. Pray without ceasing, not only when we feel like, but we should be praying without ceasing. And in everything, we should give thanks, no matter we, whatever our flesh tells us. But in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Dear brothers and sisters, today as we worship our King, our Lord, our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, let us together once again, dear brothers and sisters, let's proclaim His mighty will together. For our lives and let us claim on Romans chapter 2, chapter 12, excuse me, Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. And ask the Lord, please ask him to fill you with his Holy Spirit as we read the scripture, as we worship him now and give him the glory and ask him to empower you and strengthen you. So that we can glorify his holy name and stick to the scripture, Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. I'm reading for the, from the NKJV and you can open your Bible or you can follow along dear brothers and sisters. And it's Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. This is our reasonable service, dear brothers and sisters. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Dear brothers and sisters, please join us today and let us not be conformed to this dark world, but, to be, but let's be transformed once again by the renewing of our minds as we glorify Him. And today, as a matter of fact, we will, before we worship, let's just read Psalms 150, the last Psalm. And while we read that, let us together shout out hallelujah together for every praise. The Psalms 150 has, every verse has the praise. So as we say along, as we read along, please join us dear brothers and sisters and shout out if you would please like to shout out hallelujah for every single praise. Every single praise the Psalms is telling us. Shall we David? Yes. All right, Psalms 150 and its verses 
it has six verses and I we are reading from the New King James Version. So let's begin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God in his sanctuary. Hallelujah. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Hallelujah. Praise him for his mighty acts. Hallelujah. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Hallelujah. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Hallelujah. Praise him with the lute and harp. Hallelujah. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Hallelujah. Praise him with string instruments and flutes. Hallelujah. Praise him with loud cymbals. Hallelujah. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear brothers and sisters, please join us as David sings for us. To thank the Lord and be in his presence and glorify his holy name. You can go ahead, David. The Bible says it's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. So let us give thanks in his holy mighty name. Rejoice in him and be glad in him. So join us while we worship. Hallelujah. We just praise you this day, Lord. We just praise you, dear brothers and sisters. Join us. As David sings for us, glory, glory, glory to the name of love every single name of kindness send you forever you are the king of kings and you are the lord of lords and you are the name above every single name the bible can be summarized in one scripture lord for god so for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him 
shall never perish but will have an everlasting life. Dear brothers and sisters, if you have an everlasting life, if you have an eternal life, if you have accepted Jesus Christ of Nazareth as your Savior and as your all in all today, you have an eternal life. But the question is, what are you doing with your eternal life? Because the Bible tells us that your eternal life has already started. It's not after we are raptured or after we die because the Bible tells us in several places as well as we have a video, we did put up a video of you know, I think a few days back, which talks about our eternal life. Dear brothers and sisters, if you have not watched it, we encourage you, please do take charge of your eternal life because the Bible says in heaven, in heaven there will be tears. We encourage you, dear brothers and sisters, to dig on the scripture, to be an active Berean, to find out why will be tear, why will there be tears in heaven? What is the reason for tears? Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the light of the world, the King of kings, the Lord of laws, the name above every single name, our Redeemer, is there. In front of him, why will there be tears? We encourage you, dear brothers and sisters, please do a dig in the scriptures, please do. Your own study on that, please don't take our words for granted. You don't have to be, please be an active bearing and find out what that means that there will be tears in heaven. Your eternal life, dear brothers and sisters, our eternal lives have started here. But the question is, if we are saved today, what are we doing with our salvation? What have we done? Because each one of us have a call on our lives. Are we saving? Are we saved for no reason? No, because we are all saved for a call, for a purpose as Ephesians 2.10 describes. But the question is, are we serving the Lord as he wants us to? Dear brothers and sisters, rapture is at hand, time is at hand, Jesus Christ is about to descend. But let's just praise him today, let's just glorify him. Please be in the scriptures. Jesus is telling us that. In the end days, if we are not in the scriptures, if we are not grounded and deep rooted, the chances of deception will be only getting higher and higher. And, and that curve goes exponential. Dear brothers and sisters, we welcome you once again. If you have not gotten a chance to worship him, please thank him. Thank the Lord for every single thing he has done in your lives. Yes, rapture is at hand. But for so many years or how many ever, ever years you are in the Lord, for so many years he has saved you from so much, so much of sins. He has washed so much of our sins that we cannot even imagine from what he has saved us from. For, for the Bible says in Romans 5, 8 that Jesus Christ died for us while we were sinners, while we were filthy, while we were rotten. Dear brothers and sisters, Revelation 5, 12 tells us, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. So let's praise him and glorify him. If you haven't gotten a chance and feel the presence, feel his presence and get filled with the Holy Spirit and ask the Lord to guide you and minister your heart with your Holy Spirit so that you can come out victorious by praising him. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters, once again for viewing us, for worshiping with us. And let's end, end with a word of prayer. Shall we, David? Yes. You can go ahead. Lord Jesus, once again, I bring ourselves in your presence, Lord, and help the people who are watching us, Lord, and bless them, Lord, and, and help them, Lord, to be in only you, and only you, Lord, and near my knee, my rebuke and rebuke and rebuke every single evil bothering them, Lord, and help them to keep their eyes on me and you, Lord, and near my team. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for giving us this opportunity to worship you, to read the scriptures, to know you better. And we pray, Father, that you help each one of us as we go forth from here to get ready for our King Yeshua HaMashiach's extremely imminent return. And Father, we hold on to Luke chapter 21, verse 36, and pray that may we be found worthy of our Messiah, Lord, when Jesus comes, may we be found worthy. And we pray, Father, in the name above every single name of our Redeemer, Yeshua HaMashiach, that may you bless all our dear brothers and sisters right this moment viewing this message and please enlighten their hearts and minds through your Holy Spirit so that they can discern and hold on to the truth because only the truth will set them free. And more importantly, Father, please help us to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Heavenly Father, may the meditations of our hearts and the words of our mouths be acceptable at your sight 
at this time. All this we pray in the holy mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Thank you dear brothers and sisters and God bless you all.